Right, what's the down low? What's the sitch? Um, okay, I can guess so, to an extent. Yeah, so Matt rang me this morning about... He rang me yesterday about wanting to expand the, the washing machines even more. Mm -hmm. Saying he's more than willing to do it, pay for them, blah, 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 right? I shut it down last night, and then he, he brought it up again this morning, right? Um, and he started going on about how, like, Junior wanted to invest in it and all this kind of shit. And I, I was just like, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you, right? Junior uh, shouldn't be getting involved in any of that kind of shit. Exactly, for a start. Um, but <clears throat> basically, I, I was putting it off because I was doing shit. I was doing roof running and stuff. And he rang me three times in the space of 15 minutes to ask for my conclusion. Uh, so I then told him to go to Grove. I, I had a chat with my Grove. Uh, most of the people were there. Most of the group were there. Um, mm -hmm. Which he didn't like, but like... I mean, it was the washing machine house. I didn't think it was that fucking deep people it was everyone's money at the end of the day right so um i basically told them you know that the the, the goal for the, the original plan which was for him and kenny to clean the, their own money and, and then, then it the becomes gang bought, yeah 10 percent push back shit. and push back and push back right and he then made he then said yeah because the gang ain't making money and kind of giggled about it right and i said I kind of just slapped my dick on the table at that point and said, "Oh, I could buy, I could buy your washing machines off you right now. I could buy you out right now." No, in, in other words, saying the gang has the fucking money. Don't fucking joke about that. Oh well, yeah, right? how much do we owe him? Uh, seventy-three thousand. Which between the dirty money in the box and the money that Jim has right now, we could buy him out right now. Yeah, yeah. Which is what I was gonna do, right? Which is what I'm gonna do. But I've given him till Tuesday to clean the bills he has, the rolled bills he has. Um, because he's been buying shit off everybody, the gang and pushers and all all sorts, right? Yeah, he's so, been he's been milking I, it while he can, hundred percent. Yeah, which I I wasn't pissed about, but now the fact he came out like trying to expand even more and push the goalposts even further away about it being the gang thing, I've basically gave him the deadline of Tuesday to clean the well, money. He, he, told me he has about... to me, yeah. This is the, so I don't know if you've had a separate conversation since, but he mm. came to me and he was like, "Oh, Kenny told me he's no longer interested in the laundry." I want to buy him out and then you can just pay me back and i was like what and that's what kenny said to you and he was like yeah so my impression was that but why kenny, do i, I feel Kenny's like that's not now interested not true. anymore because matt has basically told him oh you can have 7 a.m till 12 p.m to clean your money when he's not around <laughs> wait wait what he's essentially told kenny he needs to wake up earlier and and take the morning slot of the washing machines in other words, when Matt wakes up at 12 slash 1 o'clock, he's cleaning his money and he can figure it out. It's essentially how Kenny got a put to him. And Kenny's yeah. way too nice and passive to say anything about no, it. it. It would just say, That's why he's just said, me. Yeah, yeah. he just wants his money back. That's why he's had that opinion. Because he's not getting the equal... So he was bending the truth when he told me that 100%. Yeah, to me it is. Because, uh, bro, I've, I've spoke to Kenny about it. Kenny, I've basically said to Kenny, um, Jim is stirring. Oh my fucking God. He's just texted me saying, Matt's just said speaking to me is like speaking to a brick wall. <laughs> he's, he's, good, he's good to have behind the lines, to be fair, but still. Yeah, but um, James and Matt are both a perfect example they're, they're of five person, years, bro. no development. They're the same person. That's, that's the issue with the two of them. They just they're lack the same creativity person. as well. They just like spewing up internal problems. Um, so yeah, I had a chat with Kenny before I brought this to Matt and saying, look, if I buy Matt out, and then run the operation like I wanted to with the gang taking money, a, a cut, and making money from it. And then we pay you back later. Are you okay with that? And he says, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I don't give a shit as long as I get my money. So then, then I had the chat with Matt. And immediately, as soon as I said the whole the gang could buy you out right now, Matt went off of one. Thinking I was trying to but kick him out. But that was the plan all Matt. alone anyway, no? E exactly. Yeah, exactly. All along, sorry. But he, along. Matt has this thing in his head that he wants to own all the washing machines and run it himself. And I was like, no, not happening. Because I want more people involved because I want to give people purpose. That was the whole reason why we did it is because we wanted more people who don't have a purpose to have a exactly. purpose. Exactly, exactly. He's um, one of the less dependent people in the group. He can go off and find something to do. He doesn't need another thing, thing to do on top he, of what he, he already does. Avenue. He will find an avenue. That's the thing about Matt, right? But he said, oh, I've been, I've actually been looking forward to waking up the past few days doing this and shit. And I was like, well, fair enough to so spread the fucking love, bro. Let yeah, he Saint doesn't need to stop feeling. doing it, let, though. Let James have that. Exactly. 
just needs to do it with other people yeah and and he has this logic in his head that it doesn't need on paper he's the only one that needs to run it which sure that's probably true because of the baskets now right you do fuck all yeah uh, in terms of washing the cash but there's also those avenues of meeting more people buying more cash off people off the streets fucking interact you know going around and 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 expanding the business it's not just a simple well, ultimately it can be it should be a thing where wash. where gg can say we do a say we did a heist yeah not, uh, and we cleaned it that's like you know doesn't matter who the fuck this does it say gg mm -hmm. meets someone and they're like i've got 10k rolls and she buys them then she should be able to just mm -hmm. chuck those through and then she takes her profit from that right like yeah everyone should have the opportunity to do what matt's doing who runs the laundry stuff uh, exactly exactly but matt just wants to like exclusively do it basically but it doesn't make a difference because if he's even if he's in it with three other people if he's got the most customers he'll still be benefiting from it just as much as he is he just is working alongside other people exactly yeah because this gang takes five percent and people who clean it take ten yeah so um they're still eating and I and spoke so to everyone we. as well. Everyone, everyone's happy with short term when it does transition on Tuesday. To the gang takes fifteen percent, and the people cleaning makes zero until we pay back the debts because we're in like a couple hundred grand debt right now. Yeah, I mean that makes fucking sense. It's... And everyone's happy with that. 